Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. And we're back in Man... Manchester. I was going to say Manhattan. <laughs> we're back in Manchester. Now, I had a subscriber tell me to come and take a look at Field 20, which I did. And I, I wasn't really aware of what he was trying to get me to see, so I, I kind of drove around and... Well, I don't see anything special about it. And I went ahead and harvested it. Uh, as you well know if you watched the last episode. Well, in the meantime, um, he came back and said, Well, okay, I'll be a little more specific. Because in the last episode I said, Well, I'm here, but I don't really see anything unusual. So, he sent me another comment and he said, I'll be a little more specific take a look at the cost of the field and so I said okay and this was Anders Simonson so let's take a look Anders asked me to take a look at this because he said there's no reason why not to buy this field oh my god two hundred and forty seven dollars why would you not buy this field isn't that the craziest thing why would they do that well, anyway, Anders, thanks for letting me see that. I was uh, thinking that this field was big enough. I wasn't going to mess with it for a while, but now I see what you're talking about. There is no reason not to buy this field. Okay. Um, I have two fields left to do. Oh, now that we bought that field, too, I guess I better get the cedar over there the two fields I have to do are 13 and was it 18 uh, yeah 13 and 18 two small corn fields that we're gonna do so that's <laughs> I love driving this thing okay um, I I went with this guy, he this is the combine that was in field 12, and if you remember, I had to buy another corn header, and it was sitting here at the uh, at the farm shop, the uh, equipment shop. So I just drove down to pick that up, and we're headed back to field number 13, where we will get started in harvesting. If I don't hit the fence first. to drive with one hand. What's the deal with all these foxes around here? I'm going to have to ask Reaper 9111 what's the deal with the foxes. Maybe they mean something. If you've ever played Skyrim, there's little foxes that run all over the place. And I've often wondered if they don't show up in places where there are interest for you. Because it always seems like if uh, I see a fox, something's going to happen. Could be, could just be a quinky dink, but I can't say for sure. And I've never actually taken the time to Google it or look it up. All right, well, here's the deal. I was here earlier and I set up a course, but I set it up for the header that was on the combine, which, as you well know, is not the header that I currently have on the combine. So the course probably isn't going to match up. So we need to open this thing up and probably I'm not quite sure. Well, it might, but I don't think so. So we may have to redo this course here. But I don't think this is the same size header, so we're going to dump that, and let's see, we're going to, um, I'm going to leave it the way it was, because the way it was, I had it set up for uh, other crops, so what I'll do this time is I'll go ahead and generate the, uh, generate this, field 13, and it is not 13.6, it's only 9 meters. This is going to be the same, southeast, north, activated, that's all going to be the same generate the course. The difference now is we're going to name it um, 
harvest corn field 13. So we'll know that it's set up for a corn harvester. And we'll go ahead and start the course. Need to go grab us a tractor though. That thing really winds up, don't it? Alright. Is this our... Uh, this is it, I think. No, this isn't it. It's this guy. I don't think it makes any difference, but this guy's closer, so... We're just gonna do this. I wonder why that field was only $247. That's crazy. Sounds like that guy on TV. Sales price is so low, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't have a voice for TV. I don't have a voice for radio either. Matter of fact, my voice is just flat irritating. Let's see, what's going to be closer? I don't know if either farm is closer than the other. Really, to be, on, to be honest with you. To be honest with you, because I never am. Um, we are here. Are that closer than that? Than that? <laughs> I don't think it makes any difference. There's a lot of, uh, you know what, I might just go down here because it's a straight shot rather than go around and round and round and round. Actually, this one's probably closer, isn't it? Except for I have to go clear down here to dump it. I'm going to go straight down just because. We'll just do that. Yes, we will. And we're going to do this. head through the farm here. Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Nice day for a drive. I think the first thing I'm going to buy... See, on the last harvest, I bought uh, a second combine. And I think the first thing I'm going to buy with this harvest is some uh, bigger tractors and uh, trailers. Now, I went to the giant webpage. Today is Wednesday, April 2nd. Right? I went to the... No, today's the first. Oh, it's April Fool's Day. Is that right? Wait a minute. Yes, it is April Fool's Day. So I'm not really recording April Fool's. Anyway, I, uh, I went to the giant webpage, and they've got a new DLC for some... Is it JCB tractors? Uh, those big yellow suckers? Um... Well, they're not they're not big, they're just normal tractors. But anyway. There's a DLC from for some equipment and I it's nine ninety nine, pretty dang cheap. I went ahead and bought it and then I went to download it and it said, Oh, sorry, you can't download these till April second. Well why'd you let me buy them then? That I, you know, that's irritating. I, wa I wanted them as soon as I paid for them. But I have to wait till tomorrow to uh, download them. So, that being said, I don't think I'm going to buy any new equipment. At least not in this episode. Because I want to see what they have and if it's any good and if it's something I want. Is it just, is it just comparable to what I have except for it's yellow instead of blue? I don't know. I'll find out. But I figured for $9.99, why not? 
I have downloaded some mods of that uh, model of tractor before, and I like uh, I like the models. I like the the uh, way they looked and everything. I didn't care too much for the tractors. Other people liked them a lot, but I think for me, it was the particular mod that I got. It didn't work very good. And when I was looking for these, they were a dime a dozen on the mod uh, pages. And, you know, I just, I don't think I ever found the one that everybody had that they liked. Because I, I it just didn't work very well for me, these mods, so. I just gave up on it. They were just little normal tractors anyway. So, April Fool's Day. Huh. I kind of miss St. Patrick's Day, too. Or has it been St. Patrick's Day already? I can't keep up with these holidays. I think it's already been St. Patrick's Day because uh, isn't that the day you have to wear something green or people pinch the crap out of you? That never made any sense to me, but I guess whatever turns you on. I've been trying to get ahead on some of these recordings because I bought the um, expansion pack for my Sims 4 uh, game. And I bought Sims 4, and I started playing it a little bit. As a matter of fact, I started doing uh, some recordings, but I kind of ran out of time. I I really didn't have time to spend playing another game. And so I kind of, uh, you know, I didn't have but a few people watching it, so I thought, well, if I stop playing, nobody's going to notice. And I think I know personally, I think I know the people that were watching. So if they were real bummed out about it, they would have called me and said, hey, what's going on? I, I, I need my sims but the new expansion looks pretty fun because if you've played the sims at all uh, you know that you um, send your sims to work they get a job or they stay home and starve to death uh, but anyway in this game you get to go to work with them so let's say you decide that you want to be a cop. You, whoops, <laughs> turned him off. Um, you go to work with your guy, and you start off as a rookie kind of a guy, but you actually get to go out into town and investigate crimes, and arrest people, and find clues, and all kinds of stuff. It's kind of cool. And if you become a doctor, uh, you get to go to the hospital and learn to be a doctor. You get to uh, diagnose people and treat them and stick them in big machines and electrocute them and all kinds of stuff like that. Or you can be like a scientist. You can be a mad scientist. And also, it allows you to play as an alien. Now, in previous versions of The uh, Sims, you could play as an alien. In this version, you not only can play as an alien, but you can disguise yourself as a human. So if you're if you're in your house all by your lonely and you get out of bed and you're just in your underwear and nobody's gonna see you, you can stay an alien. But if you think somebody's coming to the door or coming over for lunch or just to come over and buy some grain like I've been doing to my uh, neighbors here, um, you can you can put your human body on. And you can create any any body that you want as far as... Well, you know how you create a sim. So you can make, make your human sim look any way you want. You can give them red hair, ponytail, you know, dress them whatever you like. They just look like any other sim's character. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, I haven't played it yet. I, I dinked around with it, created a couple characters today. But I haven't really played with it. Alrighty, and I think, did we set up a course for this guy? I don't remember. I don't think so. This is field 18. So, um, let's generate a, a course. Ah, I don't think I can because I need to do that. 
and we're going to field 18. There we go. Now we can generate a course. And of course, it's the last field in the whole. Oh, it isn't. 20 is. We own 20 now. And let's drop that back down to 9. This is going to be uh, uh, ba -ba -ba south west heading north. Activate that and generate the course. Save the course. And we're going to do harvest corn field uh, 18. And then back up. And drive course. And then we'd better go get a tractor, shouldn't we? Oh, this guy's got a long ways to go. I'm going to sneakily drive right by Sean Connery. wonder who else lives here. Manchester's a pretty nice place. It's got Sean Connery to live in it. There must be other celebrities around here, don't you think? We need some Canadian celebrities. There's a lot of them. You just, you know, and a lot of times you don't even know it. Like, I didn't know uh, for the longest time, like William Shatner and, you know, some of these guys that, um, you know, made their claim to fame in the United States, but they're Canadian actors. There's a bunch of them. never been in this part of the map before. I have no idea what's out here. I wonder if, uh, what is this? Some kind of a power station? That's cool. Oh, look, a trampoline. Oh, my God. Somebody's house burned down. Oh, and they must have had kids. They got a trampoline out here. Nobody's looking, are they? Oh, this is terrible. Well, I wonder where they're living now. Are they living in this trailer? Oh, man. That's terrible. Hope nobody got hurt. Boy, the car sure did. It's seen better days. No name on the mailbox, but they got mail. Yeah, it's probably a bill from the insurance company. Well, that's too bad. Here's another big field we can mow. Or is this the same one I was mowing? Could be. I don't know where I'm at, really. Oh, look, a truck driver and his family. Oh, my God. I'm never going to get there to get that corn. <gasps> Woo! Hot pants. Boy, somebody's making some money. Look at that rig. Oh, my God. That's the pimp mobile. Gee whiz. And look what Mama drives. There's something wrong with that. Truck driving uh, must be paying pretty good. You need to wash your truck, though. It's kind of dirty. It's illegal, too. There's no license plates on it. Huh. And a garbage. Two garbage cans. Boy, they must be... Oh, look, look, look. They've got a radio out here. Doesn't really play anything, though. You need to mow the lawn. Well, that's cool. All right. I got to quit goofing around and get to my field. Where am I anyway? 16. 19. Alright, so I've got to uh, turn here, I guess. Get over the railroad track. And I'm going to drive down this way. 55, stay alive. Now, wait a minute. What's that? I didn't know we had... What? What is that? We're just... Uh... Soybeans, it says. Six. Three. Where are we? What? 
field seven. Oh, that's my field. <laughs> Never mind. I don't. I don't remember what I planted. Oh, what a moron. Oh, I know where I'm at now. There's the egg lady. Hi, egg lady. This guy's patiently waiting. Where the hell's my tractor? Sorry. Hey, look, it's a deer. Oh, the deer, deer, deer. Sound like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, the deer, oh, the deer, deer, deer. Okay, now, where do I go from here? Because I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm clearing the hell up here. Um, so I gotta turn around, come back down. All right, I know where to go. So let's um, start the course. No course loaded. We're gonna do a uh, combine course. Start recording. I can't use the uh, road because it's under construction. So I'll have to uh, do a little detour here. I'll just slowly turn around. And at least there's no fence here. That's a good thing. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cut right into the road here. I guess there's a little bit of a dirt de detour there. Do you see that little dirt spot? That's probably their makeshift uh, detour. I could just take it right here and sell it from there. Then I wouldn't have to worry about getting it to the farm. Just take it and run over there and sell it. Nah. Let's head this way. Nice, nice day for a Sunday drive. into these S curves. Take it 90 miles an hour and watch this thing jackknife. My wife, my farm wife doesn't like me driving by this place because I always kind of get roving eyes. Stay away from there. Damn, damn hussies. Now, how do you know they're hussies? Well, they probably are, but can't prove it in a court of law. But I guess you probably could. Okay. Slow down a little bit. Make a sharp turn. Drive over the crime scene. Why did they put crime scene tape around here? I shouldn't say anything. I've got some of that uh, tape. You can buy that tape, uh, not just the plastic thing that they put up around, but the actual, it, it's like duct tape, but it's uh, got that yellow and black design on it. I have some of that, and it's kind of reflective. And when you drive into my garage, where the car goes is one level of cement, and then once you get past where the car would go, the cement rises like just two inches or an inch and a half, not very high. And the rest of the garage is a little bit higher. I don't know why he did that, whoever built the house. But, so I had to put that black tape around so you could see that, hey, you better step up here, buddy, because uh, otherwise you're gonna fall on your ass. I can't have that. I can't. I can't leave that there. Watch me get stuck out here. That's what I get for driving too fast. Okay, so let's dump these and start over. Take it a little bit slower this time.
Now you know it's bad when you go slow and still mess up. Town Zombies just coming from the coffee shop there. Now they've told me that that uh, coffee shop is actually uh, in, in Canada. Um, uh, what did they tell me it was? Am I lost? Uh, they told me it was like a Dunkin' Donuts. In America, we have a, a, a place called Dunkin' Donuts. I'm friggin' lost. How did I get lost? I didn't turn from the farm, did I? Oh my goodness. I took the longest route I could have taken. And I'm not even gonna stop that stop sign. Do what they call in the States a California stop, where you don't really stop at all. I guess it's okay as long as you don't get caught. Oh my. I, I don't think I could have taken a longer route to get here. But, you know, I'm almost there now. I'm not going to change it now. I'll change it the next time I do this, uh, if I ever buy this field. I'll change it then. Oh, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Who created this route? If I get for rubbernecking around the farm, around the town. Okay, so what field is this? 18? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're not harvesting. We're just uh, picking it up. 18. Goodness gracious. Can you believe that? Oh, of course you can. Oh, let's go check on the other guy. Oh my god. I should have checked earlier. Actually, I probably should have looked at the uh, inspector there. How did he get down here anyway? Oh my god, this guy's done already. Alright, hold up for me. Are you kidding? Was that all that was in there? Uh, where'd my combine go? No, he's empty. By golly, by gosh. Oops. All right, why is this not letting me it won't let me put the pipe in. There it goes. Why wouldn't it let me do that with my controller? Crazy, crazy. All right, we're off to the races. Let's get this guy on the uh, on the road again. On the road again. He can't wait to get on the road again. I'm going to be right in the way. Go, man. Go, go, go. Don't wait. Hey, I wonder if this farmer's got any gas I could take. Oh, he's still charging me for it. Oh, great. It takes these rigs a long time to fill up with fuel. They must have big tanks. Texas tanks. 
I had to laugh. We bought some bread called Texas bread. It's called Texas bread, right? It's just white bread. It wasn't anything special. I uh, bought it in a store. You know, sliced bread. It's like you do. And that, well, there's, everything's bigger in Texas. Well, oh, wait a minute. It wasn't called Texas bread. It was called Texas toast bread. And it, the actual bread wasn't very big, but it was a, about two, about twice as thick as a normal slice. Well, okay. Uh, I thought it would just be bigger bread so you could have like a huge sandwich. But no, it's just thick. So you have this little finger food sandwich, you know, instead of, you know, it's just on real thick bread. Well, hell, if I wanted that, I'd just use the heels of the loaf to make a sandwich. Well, let's see. You know what I didn't do is I didn't get the cedar going on field number 20, which I need to do because I'm going to want to, but I don't know if I have a tractor. Well, I, w I will now because I'm done with field number 13. As soon as he's done unloading his uh, load there. You know what I should do? is uh, I should stop him at the last trigger. Continue on home with this guy. New Holland has reached its trigger point. Should stop one of these days to go fishing here. See if there's any fish in that little pond. Doesn't look like much of a pond though. Probably just full of mosquitoes and and uh, bullfrogs or something. Tadpoles. All right, we're almost to the homestead. Thank God that that cow manure pile doesn't get any bigger. Here we are, home again, home again, jiggity jig, coming into Manchester. Now, isn't Manchester a town or something? Is it Manchester? Where's it at? British Columbia? Is this really a town? Manchester. Manchester in Manitoba. It's all manly. It's a manly place to live. If your name is Chester. Okay, let's see. This guy will just uh, continue on, let him dump his load here. I don't have any transport uh, courses here, do I? On this map? TP dealer to farm. Just the one, I guess. Of course, the other farm in that far away that couldn't just drive it. All right, so what were we needing this guy for? Oh, we need the tractor. We don't need the trailer. Mm -hmm. These farmers got a problem with stacking up poo. Every farm here's got a great big pile of poo on it. They got a poo problem. Maybe that, that I know Rex does. Rex the Wonder Dog. He's he's got a poo problem. He's constipated. He managed to squirm out of his little doghouse, but he can't get any further than that. Hey, Sean. How you doing? Well, I should have honked the horn. What's with the horns in this game? Meep meep meep. Need a man horn. Need. Hey, we should get a mod. 
and put in a wooga form. A wooga horn in the game. Do they even make those anymore? I haven't heard one of those in a long time. I saw a horn one time that played uh, the thing from the General Lee. Um, something like that. Alright, this is kind of out of the way. I'm just going to drop it there. And our cedar is where? Where is our cedar? Oh, Cedar's already got a tractor on it. Oh, how convenient. And it's got soybeans on it. We might as well just plant soybeans. Uh-oh. We need some fuel. All right, we'll let him fuel up, and then we'll go get some seed. All right, then just run right over here and get some seed. May have enough for that field, but I don't want to have to come back. I wonder if there's field... Uh, there may be seed on the other farm, though. It'd be pretty close. Should have put that bigger tractor on here. This one kind of struggles a little bit. But he'll get the job done. I'm, I'm sure. What happened there? Part of the field didn't get seeded. What? What? How'd that happen? Look, it's the Misty Mountains. Um... That's a combine done already? Goodness gracious. The field must not have been very big either. I think it's just long and skinny. There you go. Go to work. Do me proud. Look, Sean, I bought your field. It's on sale. Cheap. Have you guys seen that other field? Which field? Is this the field? I'm, I think this is it. I don't want to go too far out there. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Um, this is the field that has all the grass in it. I get confused. I'll be on the Nebraska map, and I'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of grass back here, and I'll step through the barrier and fall into a black hole. And the other day, I fell in with one of my combines, and I had to quickly run out and uh, have it... Uh, sent to the farm to get it back. That was crazy. Oh, he didn't have much in him. Alright, he's all buttoned up, and we'll get this guy. Travel, man, travel. Don't run over me. What's he not going? 
No, really, go, man. That deer is not afraid of anything over there. I'm back with a slingshot. We have venison for dinner. Corner a little short, didn't I? It's like to fall asleep and behind the wheel of one of these things. I'm gonna take a shortcut. I'm gonna go through the field. It's my field, right? I can do that. Pretty little plant. Soybeans, eh? We're just gonna park this guy over by the corn crib. For now. Actually, let me go put the corn header away. Because I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna stick this corn hitter in the corner here. Kind of. Let me uh, actually get it right up against the wall and, and uh, drop it. And I might as well leave. I might as well leave this guy here for now. And we'll just turn this guy on and drop it. Leave him here for a while. This guy is. We want. Whoa! Jeez! Did you see that? Wow! Speed demon, much? Tell you, we need some bigger. No, now look, this is a small trailer too. We need some bigger tractors on this farm. Does he got a weight? Yeah, he does. A big weight on. All right. So we have ten thousand six hundred thirty-five thousand or ten thousand six hundred thirty-four dollar. It's late. I'm tired. Uh, let's see what we have. We have. 211,000 in barley and canola and corn. Potatoes, I'm not worried about that. It's not very much. but We didn't get much corn off those two little fields, did we? No, we got more corn than we did canola. Let's see. What kind of prices have we got? All right, so barley. 1246, 1279. Country trade it is, I guess. <coughs> I can't afford to wait for a great demand. I need the money now. Okay, country trade. Let's see, we're going to uh, delete this one. Grain to country trade. And um, 
Oh wait, it's this one. And it's barley. Drive the course. Go get our other. What was he doing? Okay, well, I'm going to actually end the episode here, and I'll uh, finish selling this stuff, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I might I might wait to finish selling it when, when I come back. But uh, anyway, if you enjoyed it, give me a like. If you have a friend, share it with them, please. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll see you in the next episode.